Hi guys, I uh, just wanted to do a quick video on how to really balance out your cells. Especially if you bought a brand new board, a lot of times uh, those cells might not be balanced if they've been sitting in the warehouse. So what you want to do is really top out your video, um, top out. The best way, the simple way is to just use the included adapter uh, and charge it all the way to full. Uh, and write it and just keep charging it to full. And that will eventually uh, balance out your battery cells. Now, the way most BMS works on these things is that they actually top out. Um, so after it gets to 42 volts on a 10S 2P, for example, or 10S 4P, 6P, uh, you will get to 42 volts somewhere near there, and it will actually start to balance once it tops out. Now, the onboard W2 I got here, is actually rated at three amps, so it's charging at three amps. Um, the higher the amps, the, there's a chance like if, if it's not balanced, if it's you know completely unbalanced, it might take uh, maybe like 10 power cycles for it to actually balance. Another way you can do it, the way I like to do it, is I like to put it up to an actual DC power supply like I'm doing here. And I've got the amp set to one amps. You can even set it to like, I'll show you, I can even set this uh, amps to like, if you want to really trickle charge and balance your batteries, you can set it to like 0.2 amps and that will allow you to balance your batteries much quicker without power cycling because these power adapters, 3 amps, means it's just going to charge up all the way real fast and then it's going to be too much amps and then it won't balance out because, you know, I've tried this on my, you know, my own Batter, uh, built batteries and it seems to me that's the case with higher amps uh, if you don't have a DC power supply if you have like an older 42 volt like one amp for like smaller boards you can also use that that will actually balance out your boards better uh, but you can see let's actually go ahead and set this back up to 3 amps see what happens and I'll show you what I mean if I set this at 3 amps it's gonna immediately probably stop charging. So that's at three amps. It's at 42 amps. And that's probably gonna shut off uh, real quick here. Now for the own boards, there is a way to check voltage here. So go ahead and ta um, tap on this here and it'll show you the percentage. If you click it one more time, it will actually show you the uh, voltage. So you can always um, tell what voltage is now if your board stops charging before 42 volts it means it's uh, your batteries are not balanced um, like I said the easiest ways to do it is ride your board up to 50% charge it again do that you know as many po uh, times as possible all right that will really help out now it's at 41.8 on this itself so that should be pretty accurate my DC uh, power supply, I don't think I calibrate it, but it, it should be near there. So it, it's still charging. Um, but the best way, obviously, to do it the, the fast way is to trickle charge it. Uh, again, if you don't power cycle your board after you get it, you might, you know, have unbalanced batteries. Now, if you don't know the fact about uh, these battery cells, then, you know, you, maybe you write it once and you, you know, you don't write it for six months and then your battery pack goes bad and you blame it on onboard. You blame it on evolved, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, you don't have to do this all the time. If you write it right often and you charge the full every time, you probably won't have to worry. But what happens is if you just like write once and then forget about it a couple months. Uh, also, if you do not write for more than a week, it's best to actually uh, use up the battery to about 50% uh, for long term storage for example in the winter um you know so there's some basics you got to know the best the thing you really got to know is um, if you want to balance your batteries just using the default charger that came with your electric skateboard um just power cycle it power cycle it like 10 20 30 times write it every day for like you know two weeks and you should be good to go most likely the bms will work and it will balance your batteries and also if you get a brand new board like i did here a power cycle a bunch of times most likely the way these bms's work you have to charge it all the way and it trickle charges now these things aren't made 
you know, they're not perfect. They're, they're cheaper BMSs. You can get more expensive BMSs, smart BMSs, but they're gonna cost you like $100, $200 more. With these, you really gotta uh, top it out, all right? And then it'll trickle balance it. Now, if it's very unbalanced, like I said, it might not, it might, it will not balance the first time. You will have to actually charge it up like a bunch of times until it's, it's sort of, because when you drain it, you know, you also sort of drain from all the batteries. And um, so there's issues there. Um, so my vet, best advice, uh, every once in a while, power cycle it like 10 times. Like every once in a while, ride your board like 10 times and power up. And then, you know, drain it to 50% power up. Or you can be like 70%. But just um, top it up with the default charger. And also you can totally check after you charge it up. It should be at 42.0 volts. Charge up your board right now, this week. And if you do have a, a voltage check, like on the own board or whatever, check the voltage. Make sure it's exactly at 42 volts. If it's at 41.8, 41.5, sometimes it can be like 41.2. That means your batteries are not balanced. And again, the simple way to fix that, uh, simply ride your board, charge it up all the way, and keep checking the voltage until it's 42 volts when it's fully charged. Um, yeah, just an advice to make your battery pack last longer. Um, your cells should always be balanced. And, you know, out of the factory, it, a lot of times, like I said, they'll come unbalanced because uh, what the companies will do is actually set the, the batteries to like 60%. And that will sit in this warehouse until it gets shipped to the customer. By the time you get it, it might be more than a month uh, before last time it was balanced. And it's very unbalanced. Like I said, this is not a problem with the skateboard so much, but the owner knowing how to use it. But obviously, no one tells you this kind of stuff when you buy an electric skateboard, but I'm telling you now. So 41.8. I'll have another video when it's uh, this is fully charged and my board is balanced. I just got this board. I, maybe I charge it two, three times. So it is, it is balancing now, but I'm not actually completely sure if it actually goes 42. Have a great day.